Good evening. How are you guys? Happy Monday. Happy beginning of the week. How is everyone? Good evening, Miss. Hi, how are you? Good evening, teacher. Hi, how are you? Hi, fine, and you? Doing better, thank you. <laughs> okay. All right, let's see. We have Emerson, um, Mayra, Juan Carlos, and Mauricio connected already. So good. Okay. Happy to see you guys. How was the weekend? Uh, Tough fine. weekend. <laughs> <laughs> did you rest? Did you go out? Yeah. What did you do? Very rest. Okay, you got some rest. Nice. Did you guys go to the movies or to the beach? Or something like that? No, no, only stay in my house. <laughs> yeah, it was it was a long it was a long uh what we call a long fifteen days. <laughs> mm -hmm. Today was payday, so it was the last weekend. It was like <laughs> I have money but I don't want to spend the money. <laughs> mm -hmm. So you have to reserve it, keep it for emergencies. <laughs> mm -hmm. I want to apologize with you guys. I didn't connect on Friday because I had a family emergency. I had to take one of my relatives to the hospital. So that's why I couldn't connect to the class. And it was an emergency. We had a blood, um, a gallbladder uh, okay. removed surgery. Like it I'm sorry. <laughs> right. So yeah, uh, thank you. But he's better. He's better now. But just wanted to let you know, guys. It's not that I didn't connect. It's it was a real medical emergency in my family. All right, but we're here now. Yes. We're here now and we're gonna continue with this class. So this business class that we have right now, more than an English class, it's a business class what we're having these days. <laughs> All right, but listen, the other, I think it was on Thursday or Wednesday that we watched a video. Do you remember what the video was about? If you don't remember, that's fine. It's just a tricky question. <laughs> the video that we watched, I think on Thursday, it was about, um, it was explaining basically what were the key considerations. Okay? What were the key considerations, right? <laughs> For you to the, the for you to choose a direct channel or an indirect channel, right? What did you have to consider? That was the video about. I don't know if you remember. We watched this video. Um, we watched this one on Thursday, and the the man that was in the video, he was talking about exactly about that. Things that you have to consider to decide if you want to use the red channel or indirect channel, depending, right? So now we're going to watch another video. It's for the same from the same man, so you you will see. Oh, this this is familiar because it's the same person in the video. But this one is going to be about when to choose an indirect channel. Okay, so it's the same the same person that's gonna be explaining, but we're gonna check on this. Okay, so listen. Ideally, we we'll watch it twice. The first time we wanna look for vocabulary. So I want to know if you find any word for vocabulary in the video, the first thing. And then the second time we'll watch it one more time. And then on the second time, we talk about the context in the video, the content, right? So right now we're gonna watch it, but we're looking mostly for vocabulary, not so much for context, okay? So if you see a word or an expression that you don't recognize, write it down, okay? And we'll discuss it at the end. So let me know if you hear the, the audio. In a channel of independent. Do you hear the audio? Yes. Yes. Right. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna watch yeah. it right now. Using a channel of independent third party companies to find, win, make, keep, and grow happy customers on our behalf has a long tradition in the software industry. For some software companies, this indirect channel has been a major contributor to global success. But for most software companies, making it work remains a constant struggle. I am Hans Peter Beck, and in this video, I will discuss the principles for when we can choose 
the indirect approach through independent channel partners and when we are better off going directly to the markets. choice between serving customers directly through our own marketing and sales efforts or using independent resellers or channel partners as we call them that operate in their own name at their own risk and at their own expenses is highly affected by the nature of your business model there are basically three scenarios to consider in the a scenario our product is the basis for big projects with a high price tag our potential customers will have a committee assigned to drive the project and just one of their tasks is to select the vendor. From our perspective, such projects are complex and risky because there are many decision makers with different agendas. The sales cycles are long and losing such deals are very, very expensive. A scenario companies typically choose a direct go-to-market approach for two main reasons. The first reason is lack of resellers. In the market for specialized, comprehensive and customizable solutions, there seldom are any independent channel partners readily available to find, make, keep and grow enterprise customers on our behalf. The second reason is the uncertain growth potential for new independent resellers. As the learning curve for mastering these types of solutions is long and steep, and as there are only a few deals open in the market at any time, and as the sales cycles are long and the customers clearly prefer being served by the vendors directly, the growth potential for independent resellers is very uncertain. So, vendors in the A scenario not only prefer, but are also left with no other choice than the direct go-to-market approach. Now, this situation may change as we establish our brand. When we have built a solid market share in the A scenario, it is not unusual that we are approached by potential implementation partners. Implementation partners are not interested in, and are also seldom very good at, selling our solutions. It may actually be very interesting for us to establish a network of implementation partners as they will enhance our delivery capability. When companies in the A scenario are successful with their sales efforts, exactly the delivery capacity often becomes the critical bottleneck. Now in the B scenario, we're in the opposite end of the chart. We have a simple and inexpensive product addressing a huge volume market. Having a simple standard solution with short sales cycles addressing a large market doesn't benefit from using independent channel partners. The partners have little value add potential and they need to build a volume business to achieve profitability. Independent channel partners are seldom the best resource for generating volume sales of simple products. In the B scenario, you will be approached by potential resellers when you have established your brand. When there is a steady demand in the market for your value proposition, potential resellers can bundle your products with their own current offerings and increase their share of customer's wallet without increasing their sales expenses. Likewise, you may see an opportunity using resellers to reach segments in the market where your own direct reach is weak. The best opportunity for an indirect go-to-market approach based on independent channel partners is the C scenario. The C scenario where our solutions are addressing the small and medium enterprise market with moderate sales cycles and with value add potential for the channel partners is already served by independent channel partners. The channel is already there. In the C scenario, there is enough market volume to support many partners. And as each partner can make extensions to the product, they do not have to compete head on for the same business. 
The value add potential will improve the channel partner's margins and make the individual business deal much more profitable for them. With the channel partner's extensions and implementation capacity, we can reach much bigger markets than we could ever reach with our own resources. The partners benefit from our branding efforts and the joint activities of us and our partners help create more awareness and stimulate demand. So let's sum it up. Very comprehensive products addressing the enterprise market and very simple product addressing a mass market should primarily be sold directly through our own marketing and sales operations. Products with a value add opportunity addressing small and medium sized organizations can benefit substantially from being sold through the already available channel of independent value added resellers. This series. I was in mute. <laughs> All right, so this video has a lot of very important information. We are going to discuss it, don't worry. But first and foremost, I want to check if you found vocabulary. Did you find any words or expressions that maybe you don't recognize or that you are not familiar with? Let me know. Let's see. Someone in the chat wrote enhance. All right, enhance is to make things better, something better. For example, I have a, let's say, imagine I have a car, but I want to make it faster. So I'm going to buy it, new brakes, a new system to enhance it, right? Enhance it is to, it's similar to improve, right? It's similar to improve. Bottleneck, um, there's missing the L, it's bottleneck. It's not bottleneck, it's bottleneck. <laughs> And bottleneck is exactly what it sounds like, right? Imagine that this was a shorter. The bottleneck is this part, right? Where the neck, the bottle is very wide, but then on the on the neck of the bottle, it's smaller space. So creating trouble. It's an expression that means problems, the bottleneck, right? Like creating a problem. It's an expression, bottleneck like the problem. Any other one? Any other word or expression that you're not familiar with? Seldom. Ah, oh, struggle. Oh, seldom. Okay, seldom like this? Yes. Seldom, it's a frequency adverb and it means barely ever. You have like always, sometimes, often, frequently, Sometimes, seldom, never. Seldom is like almost never. <laughs> it's uh -huh. a frequency ad. Yes. And then we have a struggle. Juan Carlos wrote, struggle is the same as problem. A struggle is a problem. Okay? Uh, for example, oh, I have struggles with my payments. Oh, I'm struggling to do exercise, right? It means that I have problems to do something. Approach. Approach, um, I don't know how to say it, to how to explain it in English, so I'm just gonna say it, acercamiento in Spanish. Approach, es un acercamiento, right? How you approach something or how do you approach someone, okay? And then bundle, this is a good one. Bundle, it's a group, a group of things or a group of persons, it depends. For example, a bundle of products, Imagine that I have I have one uh, a stress ball, right? I have one stress ball and it costs one dollar. But if you buy two stress balls, I can give you the bundle for one fifty. Okay, so a bundle is a group of things. Okay, and it can be with anything. Okay, a bundle. And if you, in the video the man was saying you can depending on your business, depending on your product you can create bundles with your indirect sellers, right? If you are the manufacturer, imagine I manufacture this stress ball, but then other people manufacture other products for stress from, from the resellers, okay? So I can make a bundle and I can sell both products to you for one package, right? So that's a bundle. 
it's like a package of or group of things. Okay. Do enterprise. We enterprise. That's why it's a big company. A big company, it's an enterprise. Mm, okay. Mm -hmm. Enterprises is what we call big, big companies, right? Awareness, that's a good one, Juan Carlos. Awareness means that to, to be conscious of something, to have knowledge, to ser conscientes de, ser conscientes de, awareness. Mm -hmm. Okay, I have awareness that we are in winter, so I have to carry an umbrella, right? <laughs> like that, awareness. And then also you can create awareness in your customers. For example, um, you have a lot of stress students, but they don't, you have to create awareness that they can use relaxing products, right? <laughs> so you create awareness for your students and your market, depending on your public, right? Do we have any other one? Any other expression or word? Okay, you guys got very good ones. So let me congratulate you because it shows that you were paying attention. You were really doing what you were supposed to. Nice. Okay, so now we're going to watch the video one more time. We're going to pause it. We're going to pause it in two or three different times. We're going to be discussing each of the scenarios. If you remember, he discusses A scenario, B scenario, and C scenario. So because we don't want to make it too long and boring, we're going to stop it after the A scenario and we discuss it. Then we watch the B scenario and we discuss it. And we're going to do it like that, okay? So let's try it. Make sure you have a comment. Prepare your comments for each of the scenarios. You don't have to repeat everything or give me a summary. Just try to make sure that you at least have something to comment about it, okay? Or what you understand from that scenario. To find, win, make, keep, and grow happy customers on our behalf has a long tradition in the software industry. For some software companies, this indirect channel has been a major contributor to global success. But for most software companies, making it work remains a constant struggle. I am Hans-Peter Beck, and in this video, I will discuss the principles for when we can choose the indirect approach through independent channel partners, and when we are better off going directly to the markets. Choice between serving customers directly through our own marketing and sales efforts or using independent resellers or channel partners, as we call them, that operate in their own name, at their own risk, and at their own expenses, is highly affected by the nature of your business model. There are basically three scenarios to consider. In the A scenario, our product is the basis for big projects with a high price tag. Our potential customers will have a committee assigned to drive the project, and just one of their tasks is to select the vendor. From our perspective, such projects are complex and risky because there are many decision makers with different agendas. The sales cycles are long and losing such deals are very, very expensive. A scenario companies typically choose a direct go-to-market approach for two main reasons. The first reason is lack of resellers. In the market for specialized, comprehensive, and customizable solutions, there seldom are any independent channel partners readily available to find, make, keep, and grow enterprise customers on our behalf. The second reason is the uncertain growth potential for new independent on our behalf. I just want to clarify, when he says on our behalf, it's like saying on our name. They sell the products using our name or they do it for us, right? Instead of, instead of we do it, they do it for us. That's what on our behalf means, okay? Like right. representing, representing us, right? The second reason is the uncertain growth potential for new independent resellers. As the learning curve for mastering these types of solutions 
is long and steep, and as there are only a few deals open in the market at any time, and as the sales cycles are long and the customers clearly prefer being served by the vendors directly, the growth potential for independent resellers is very uncertain. So vendors in the A scenario not only prefer, but are also left with no other choice than the direct go-to-market approach. Now this situation may change as we establish our brand. When we have built a solid market share in the A scenario, it is not unusual that we are approached by potential implementation partners. Implementation partners are not interested in, and are also seldom very good at, selling our solutions. It may actually be very interesting for us to establish a network of implementation partners as they will enhance our delivery capability. When companies in the A scenario are successful with their sales efforts, exactly the delivery capacity often becomes the critical bottleneck. Now in the B scenario, we are... Okay, let's take, do you want to discuss the A scenario first or do you want to talk, do you want to watch until the end and then discuss everything? What do you prefer, guys? Do you have your comments ready for the A scenario? What's he talking about here in the A scenario? What's he mentioning? Everyone has to make a comment. He said the A scenario is very expensive. That's good. That's one of the points he makes. And also, he mentioned different points actually from the AI scenario. That's one of them. Very good. What else? What other comment can we make on the AI scenario? He was mentioning that in the AI scenario, usually other companies approach you, right? AI scenario is direct through your own sales force, meaning that you don't use any other channel, you don't use other companies or resellers or retail, you don't use anyone else. You create, you manufacture or create a product and you sell it directly, right? That's the AS scenario. So in that case, it says that sometimes, he mentioned that sometimes other people from other companies can approach you, they can look for you and they are not interested on your product or on your solutions, but they are interested maybe in giving you help on the delivery process, right? So that's one, that was one of the points that he mentioned in the A scenario. We're going to talk about the V scenario right now, direct through the web. Let's pay attention and prepare at least one comment, okay? We're in the opposite end of the chart. We have a simple, now in the B scenario, we're in the opposite end of the chart. We have a simple and inexpensive product addressing a huge volume market. Having a simple standard solution with short sales cycles addressing a large market doesn't benefit from using independent channel partners. The partners have little value add potential and they need to build a volume business to achieve profitability. Independent channel partners are seldom the best resource for generating volume sales of simple products. In the B scenario, you will be approached by potential resellers when you have established your brand. When there is a steady demand in the market for your value proposition, potential resellers can bundle your products with their own current offerings and increase their share of customers' wallet without increasing their sales expenses. Likewise, you may see an opportunity using resellers to reach segments in the market where your own direct reach is weak. The best opportunity for an indirect go-to-market approach based on independent channel partners is the C scenario. The C scenario where our solutions are addressing the small and medium enterprise market with moderate sales cycles 
and with value add potential for the channel partners is already served by independent channel partners. The channel is already there. In the C scenario, there is enough market volume to support many partners. And as each partner can make extensions to the product, they do not have to compete head-on for the same business. The value add potential will improve the channel partner's margins and make the individual business deal much more profitable for them. They do not have to. There is enough market volume. All right. I went far to the scenario C. <laughs> Let's talk about the V scenario. What did he mention? Let me hear your comments, the ones that you prepare for the V scenario. What does he say in that? What happens in that scenario? The uh, be simple and expensive products, okay. Mm -hmm. And in this scenario, uh, we uh, build uh, balloon cells, and we need a uh, stand demand in the market to. Mm -hmm. To use this scenario. Just That's good. We need a demand. Well, not only a demand, a steady demand. A steady means constant. Constant, yes. right? So if you, for example, if you're starting to sell, imagine you just create or manufacture a new product and nobody knows about it and you want to sell it online, it's going to be kind of difficult because directly through the web page, right? Because first, nobody knows about your product. And second, nobody knows about your web page. So on the other hand, if you have a product that is already being demanded, like let's say fitness things or I don't know, healthcare things, then obviously everyone is going to look on the internet and they will find your product easily. Right? So you already have a demand for that. Very good. Do we have another comment for the business scenario? And basically, the B scenario when you you have your brand and possession and in the market. Mm -hmm. Exactly, you already you, have your mm -hmm. brand. Mm -hmm. It's correct because it's uh, the 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 brand is known uh, for all people. Mm -hmm. Exactly, it's it's specific people. But you already created your name and you worked on the brand, right? Very good, Juan Carlos. Thank you. All right. So we're going to listen to the C scenario right now, okay? And then make sure to get your comments ready for the C scenario, okay? Let me hear it. Where does it start? Here. Okay. Segments in the market where your own direct reach is weak. The best opportunity for an indirect go-to-market approach based on independent channel partners is the C scenario. The C scenario where our solutions are addressing the small and medium enterprise market with moderate sales cycles and with value add potential for the channel partners is already served by independent channel partners. The channel is already there. In the C scenario, there is enough market volume to support many partners. And as each partner can make extensions to the product, they do not have to compete head on for the same business. The value add potential will improve the channel partner's margins and make the individual business deal much more profitable for them. With the channel partner's extensions and implementation capacity, we can reach much bigger markets than we could ever reach with our own resources. The partners benefit from our branding efforts and the joint activities of us and our partners help create more awareness and stimulate demand. So let's sum it up. Very comprehensive products addressing the enterprise market and very simple product addressing a mass market should primarily be sold directly through our own marketing and sales operations. Products with a value add opportunity addressing small and medium sized organizations can benefit substantially from being sold through the already available channel of independent value added resellers. This series of videos on
All right, let's talk about the C scenario. What comments do you have on the C scenario? The key to this scenario is the independent partner partner market market. Mm -hmm. And and in this scenario, uh, we can to um um we can to have uh like stay without the two we can have yes we can have a uh extension with the with our product and uh -huh. that's the idea that's basically the idea what else who else has another comment on the c scenario yes how is it different from the other two did you notice the difference from the other two? Um, I think the, the difference is uh, the C scenario you use a partners. Mm -hmm. a partners. Uh -huh. Yeah. When you you have you have a, a enterprise business. Mm -hmm. Correct. Is to reach a more extension and, and yeah. volume and volume. High, yeah, high, volume. Volume. Uh -huh. High volume. Mm -hmm. Exactly. In the C scenario, there are already partners created, the resellers. That's what we call the retail, the resellers, fall dwellers. Those are your partners in the C scenario, right? So they already exist. They are there already. So you just got to sell them your product or give them your product so they do everything. They do the rest, right? So you're not going to be having to think too much about how to distribute it, how to sell it, how to promote it, because their partners are in charge of doing that. That's the indirect channel, right? So very good job, guys. You got very good comments from this one. <laughs> and it's pretty good. It's, this one is not so intermediate. It's kind of advanced. So very good job to the ones who created your comments on this one. All right. So now, listen, we're going to go to... If you, if you remember, we were talking about expressions of certainty, right? So I'm going to share the student's manual with you. And I'm going to check. We're going to check other certainty expressions, okay, that we can use. Let me know when you can see the student's manual, please. Can you see the student's manual already? We're going to need people to read. I need one person to read this box, one for this one, this one, and this one. So we need four volunteers, okay? We need four volunteers. This one is one, two, three, and four. And you have to read the ones in the red case and then what's below there. Raise your hand if you, help, if you wanna help me read, please, so I can see you. You're only going to read this part. Um, Mayra, please help me with number one, the first box, okay? And then Mauricio, please help me with the second box here. Carla Sofia, please help me with box number three. And we need one more person for the last box. Let's see, one more volunteer for the last box to read. Jose Cesar, please help us with the last one. Let's begin. Okay, expression of certainty appear before the main verb is a sentence, but after the actual verb. The investor is certainly coming tomorrow. The manager obviously shows the wholesale approach to distribution. Thank you. That's a very important point. Before we go with number two, just pay, let's make a point on this one. Expressions of certainty are similar to the frequency adverbs. There is an order, there is a position where they need to go. It's not like you, um, yeah. you're you gonna use them whenever you want in the sentence, no, right? It says they go before the main verb, in this case, coming or choose, right? Before the main verb in a sentence, but after the auxiliary verb. Auxiliary verb, in this case, is the verb to be, right? 
In this case, there is, in the second one, there is no auxiliary verb, just the main verb. So, okay, that's the rule, before the main verb, mostly. If there is an auxiliary, it goes after the auxiliary and before the main verb. If there is no auxiliary, just before the main verb, okay? Let's go with number two. Okay. Certain expression of certain things can be places at the beginning of the sentence. Mm -hmm. Sorry, sorry. The manager will know how to arrange for distribution. Top left, top left, top left. The chipping will arrive on time. Mm -hmm. Okay, so. In general, expressions of certainty go before the main verb. In some scenarios, specifically like this one, surely or doubtlessly, you can use them at the beginning, right? It mostly depends on what you're trying to express, right? This one, when you use it at the beginning, it's like you're trying to make, to reinforce, to sound with a strength, right? And this one is just you speaking normally. Let's read number three, please. In, in close, of course, in, in all like, likelihood, in commas, when they occur in the middle of the sentence. The investment means, of course, a pay rise for the employees. Ed and Philip are in all like, like Likelihood. <laughs> Likelihood really to make their business grow. Thank you. Okay, in this scenario, of course, and in all likelihood, this is specifically for writing, okay? When you're writing this too, it says enclosed. Enclosed means that you're going to use the comma before and after the expression. It means enclosed, right? Before and after the expression. When you use, of course, and in all likelihood, in a sentence written, in a written sentence, right? Obviously, you're not going to mention the comma when you're speaking. And number four, please. Okay, uh, this expression can also be used at the end of a sentence. For example, partnering with a retailer would help us reach many more customers, obviously. Mm -hmm. All right. So it says this one, like obviously, you can use them at the end of a sentence. Okay. So if you if you think about it, it depends. Some of them you can use before the main verb. Some of them you can use at the beginning of a sentence. When you're writing them, you make sure to use comma before and after, and then sometimes you can use them at the end. Again, it will depend mostly on what you're trying to express, right? Um, it's not the same that I tell you. Obviously, the class starts at 8. Or I can tell you the class starts at 8, obviously, right? It really depends on what you're trying to, what the context, right? How you're doing it. Next, we have exercise number five. We have two categories. We have certainty and uncertainty, okay? We're going to divide them. We have all these expressions in here. You are going to decide if they are for expressing certainty or if they are expressing uncertainty, not so sure, right? Oh, it's going to rain people. It's going to rain people. Okay, certainly. Do you think this is certainty or uncertainty? Certainly. Certainly. Yeah, this is certainty, right? Certainly. Like, certainly, we're going to pass. <laughs> Number two, supposedly. Uncertain. Uncertain. Yeah. Uncertain. Uncertain. Correct. Uncertain. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uncertain. Naturally. Certainly. Certainty. Certainty. Correct. Yes. Mm -hmm. Possibly. Uncertain. 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 Right. Possibly. It's right there. Very uncertain. <laughs> Apparently. Uncertain. Um, yeah, uncertain. Apparently, like it seems, but we don't really know, right? Presumably. Uncertain. Uncertain. 
uncertain also it's presuming it's not making sure it's presuming so it's uncertainty of course <laughs> certainty. Yes. Certainty. yes certainty of course it's for certainty probably uncertainty well, yeah probably yeah. in the same category as possibly so they are uncertain and then obviously Certainly. Certainly. Certainly, correct. And then doubtless. Certainly. Doubtless is certainty, correct. Okay. Doubtless is exactly the same as when you say with without a doubt. Without a doubt, it's the same, doubtless. Okay. So what you're going to do is that you're going to write a sentence and this one is going to be individual. This exercise yeah. right now, it's individual. You're gonna yeah. write five sentences. You can choose any of these ones that you have in here. You're going to write five sentences, okay? Now, because you're intermediate level, I expect you to write intermediate level sentences. Please don't tell me, probably yeah. it's going to rain. That's too basic, right? <laughs> if you're going to use it, make sure that you create like a context. For example, it's probably going to rain later. So I gotta be ready with the, uh, what is it with the candles? <laughs> okay, try to make, who has, the, who has the microphone open? Okay, so again, I'm gonna give you the instructions because someone was talking. You are going to make five sentences each one of you, this is individual, write five sentences. You can choose any of these expressions, certainty or uncertainty. But make sure to not write basic sentences. Please do not write basic sentences. You're intermediate level, so write intermediate level sentences. Okay. What do I mean by this? Try to put a context. I was telling you, for example, if you write, it's, it's probably going to rain. That is basic. But if you say it's probably going to rain, so I have to be prepared, an example. So that's a little bit more complex sentence, more intermediate, okay? I'm gonna give you guys 10 minutes for you to write the five sentences. It's 8.44 at 8.54. We're gonna start listening to your sentences. Everyone has to participate. Everyone has to read the five sentences, okay? We're gonna have 10 minutes again starting right now. This is individual, so just make sure to write it here. We're gonna be in silence. If you need help, just ask, okay? We're, we're gonna be here.
Oh, it's raining. <laughs> so connect your batteries if you are using your laptops. <laughs> Charge your cell phones also. If you have already completed your five sentences, raise your hand and we're gonna listen listen to you. Please let me know. Okay, I'm gonna read the ones from Mauricio. He sent them to the chat. Please don't send them to the chat. You have to read them. <laughs> but in this case, we're gonna do the exception for Mauricio. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, he says number one, this is a problem, though certainly not largest. Is that what you say, Mauricio? Yeah. Okay. Um, not the largest. Remember when you use in when you use superlatives, the, the largest, yeah. not the largest. Yeah, yeah. Okay, number two. Okay. It'll cure itself naturally. Very good. Number three, of course I will go. Okay, number four, obviously my dog will protect you. Number five, doubtless you have fear. You have fear the news. Okay, now. Quick ass, quick ass. Okay, those sentences were very short. Sorry, but... with us. <laughs> but you used you used the certainty expression, so I'm gonna I'm gonna accept it. <laughs> but next time, try to make more complex sentences. Mayra, okay. please read your sentences. Uh, my boss, can you read them, Mayra? Please. Okay, my boss is is certainly coming next month. He probably bring me a gift of friends. He probably or he will probably. Will probably, sorry. Uh -huh. He will probably, remember, after the auxiliary, will. He will probably bring me a gift of friends. Nice, okay. We need three more sentences there. Okay, anyone else that already has some of their sentences? It's only five sentences you have to make, so. <laughs> you have two more minutes to complete them, so we're good. I'm gonna give you two more minutes of a space to finish the sentence. Okay, Jonathan, can you read them, please? Can you read your sentence, Jonathan? Okay, sorry, Miss. I had a convenient with the internet. Uh, okay. Apparently, okay, apparently the sky looks great, but you should bring umbrella. Okay, so <laughs> here in the chat, you put is look great. Mm -mm. The sky looks Great, but you said it correctly, right? So very good, Jonathan. Okay. Apparently, the sky looks great, but you should bring an umbrella. We never know, right? <laughs> good. An expression of uncertainty. Okay. I'm going to give you guys two more minutes to complete the five sentences. When you have them ready, please raise your hand and we want to listen to you. Okay. So you have two more minutes.
Okay. So time is up. Let me hear your sentences. And they can be certainty or uncertainty expression. Okay. Raise your hand so I can see you and you can participate, please. Remember this was individual. Everyone has to have five sentences created. Okay, I'm gonna start asking, okay? Wendy, have you completed your sentences? Wendy? Can you guys hear Wendy? I saw her microphone open, but I didn't hear her. What about, um? let's see, Carla. Carla Sofia, do no. you have your sentences? Only three. <laughs> Okay, no problem. Let me hear the sentence, Scott. Uh, number one, the the word is certainly was awful because it was very hot in these days. Mm -hmm. uh, I want to will be will be rain soon. <laughs> I hope it rains. I hope it rains. <laughs> uh -huh. Okay, that's the uncertainty. And then uh, she obvious of. Obviously, need to help in her work because she has many tasks for tomorrow. All right, very good. Those are good sentences, Carla. Thank you for sharing. Okay, in let me the, see. Hmm? In the three. Okay. If you learn English, possible we can get a we. Oh, you can get a better job. <laughs> Possibly no, surely. Sure. <laughs> surely. <laughs> good job, Carla. Very good. Thank you. Um, let me see. Who else? Jorge Antonio, do you have your sentences? No, teacher. <gasps> oh my god, why? How many I, do you have? I work for this. <laughs> okay. Let me see. Wait. Yeah. Wait, wait a minute, okay? Okay, all right, I'll let Thanks. you finish. Okay, Um. let's see. Jose Cesar, did you give me your sentences already? Okay, teacher. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, the first sentence, uh, our teacher will leave us homework. Tomorrow, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> Probably I am going to continue with this course. Um, Mary, do you want pizza? Of course. Um, <laughs> apparent, apparently, uh, I'm not ready uh, to this test. Okay. Um, <laughs> I'm waiting on the answer. <laughs> <laughs> and possibly it start to rain. All right. <laughs> good job, Jose. I said those sentences were really good. Um, Abigail Bonilla, do you have your sentences? I have only three. Okay, let me hear your three sentences. Obviously, I do my homework for having good notes. Okay. Doubles, mm -hmm. my sister arrives late. She <laughs> got asleep. Okay. Um, possibly, possibly, possibly. Uh -huh. my sister lost the sh uh, short, uh, short ship. I don't know. How do you say? What are you trying to Becca? Do? The scholarship a, for a scholarship mm -hmm. if his notes are low. Okay, if her notes are low. 
<laughs> All right, thank you, Abigail. Good. Um, let's see, Dairo Fuentes, do you have your sentences? Can you hear me, teacher? Yes. Okay, sorry. Okay. I was walking with my cell phone and I hit a wall. I certainly did not see the wall. <laughs> okay. Good. I bought a new car at an excellent price. Obviously, I was very happy. Nice. Uh -huh. I was offered $10,000 to fill out a survey. Of course, I accepted. <laughs> Obviously, of course I did. <laughs> I, I feel very bad. Double is I will not go to training tomorrow. Okay. The laptop I bought doesn't work. Uh, apparently, I was scammed. Oh, no. <laughs> very good sentence, Zaira. In the context, also very good. Okay, okay. Thank you. Um, Let's see. Who else am I missing? Uh, Juan Carlos, did you give me your sentences already? Oh, okay. <laughs> nice. Let's hear your sentences, Juan Carlos, please. Okay. Yeah, yes. No problem. Um, okay. Uh, apparently, the year uh, in the next year uh, will be very hot, according to the uh, no. meteorologist. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh -huh. Uh, possibly uh, go to Peru next month uh, to the close deal with the uh, old partners. Nice, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, obviously, the the new co-worker is a great help in the support team. Mm -hmm. Support team. Support team. Uh -huh. um, probably uh, go and go to work tomorrow. Uh, I don't feel well. <laughs> All right. <laughs> probably, but <Sure>. obviously. <laughs> Probably and obviously <laughs> I don't feel. Uh -huh. And certainly I will be able to buy the computer tomorrow uh, at noon. Perfect. Very good mm -hmm. job, Juan Carlos. And also including the context. <laughs> nice job. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. We're going to finish here with this exercise. If you have your sentences and you want to share, let me know. In the meantime, I'm going to take attendance. All right. So just a moment. Today is the 14th. Okay, so Carlos Vladimir, please make sure to say present or here. Okay, Carlos Vladimir Rodriguez. Carlos Vladimir Rodriguez. Present teacher. Thank you. Dairo Jonathan Fuentes. Present teacher. Thank you. Eduardo Antonio Magaña. <clears throat> I'm here. Thank you. Emerson Ulises Monroy. Thank you. Fatima Gabriela Loza. Jonathan Jose Gonzalez. Present, Miss. Thank you. Jorge Antonio Sanchez. Present, teacher. I'm sorry Fat for. Fatima. Yes. Okay, thank you. Ya le he puesto cero, Fatima. Jorge Antonio sorry, Sanchez. Teacher. Okay. Present, uh, teacher. Thank you, Jorge. Jose Bernardo Lopez. Present. Thank you. Jose Carlos Argueta. Jose Carlos Argueta, second call. Jose Cesar Lemu. Present teacher. Thank you. Juan Carlos Herrera Delgado. Present teacher. Thank you. Juan Jose Herrera Alvarenga. Present teacher. Thank you. Carla Sofía Argueta. Present. Thank you. Kenny Elizabeth Rodríguez. Present teacher. Thank you. Mauricio Antonio Velasquez. Present teacher. Thank you. Mayra Cecilia Peña. Present. Thank you. Nelly Lilibet Andrade. Raúl Antonio Jordán. Sandra Abigail Bonilla. Present. Thank you. And Wendy Maricela Ramirez. Wendy Maricela Ramirez. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. So now we're gonna check 
to the student manual, just a moment. I'm gonna show you guys the conversation that we have on page 12, okay? Bear with me for a minute. And we have two points, okay? On point number one, we're gonna talk about those two questions. Let's start. Which product need a faster distribution channel? And what distribution method is your competition using? Okay. So we're gonna check before we answer those questions in discussion, we're gonna be checking this conversation in here. We need two people. We need one to read Ed and one person to read Philip. It says Ed and Philip are discussing the sales of their ice cream. Okay. So we're gonna do two rounds. Okay, for round number one, we have Jorge, he's going to read Ed. And we need one volunteer for Philip. Jorge, Jorge is going to read Ed. And Mauricio, help us reading Philip. Okay. Okay. The business is going well. I never thought where ice cream will sell like this. Yeah, the pot is our way, packed with people. We have to set our own ice cream shop. We don't know anything about running our own store. Let us the manager at the ice cream shop lockdown. Certainly, he will want to buy or incredible ice cream all right thank you okay we need two more volunteers same we're talking same conversation we're reading the same conversation <clears throat> round number two we need two more volunteers one to read ed and one to read philip volunteers jose cesar help us reading ed please and we need one more person to read philip Wendy, can you read it, please? Yes, it's it. Okay, go ahead. Okay, the business is going well. I never thought our ice cream will sell like this. Yeah, the world is always baked by people. We have to sell our, our own ice cream shop. We won't know anything about running our own store. Let, let's ask the manager of the ice cream shop at uh, Tom certainly he will I want to buy our incredible ice cream. All right, very good. So let's pay attention to the questions. There are two questions based on that conversation. Question well three. Question number one. What channel of distribution is Philip suggesting? Repeat the channel. Mm -hmm. Again? Maybe, maybe direct channel. Maybe a direct channel, right? He says own our own store, right? So he says we have to set our own ice cream shop. It means that they are not going to use a retailer or a wholesaler. They are going, they they produce the ice cream, they are gonna sell it directly, right? So a direct channel of distribution. Number two, do Ed and Philip know how to run a store? No, they, they don't. don't know. No, no, no. They, don't, they don't. They don't know anything they don't know. about it. Number three, do you think Philip's suggestion will help the business grow? Yes, of course. Probably, right? We don't really know. Imagine if you go to another company that sells ice cream and you want to sell them your ice cream. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> it's a 50 50 chance that it's going to work, yeah. right? Okay. All right. So, listen, guys, we have, you're going to, you're going to go to the breakout room and you're going to create a conversation. Um, This one that you have right now in, on, on your screen, this one is too short. I need you to create a conversation that is a little bit longer 
And then at the end of the conversation in your groups, you are also going to ask two questions to the other group to see if they are paying attention to the conversation that you created, okay? So there are two points. You're going to create the conversation and you're going to create two questions about your conversation for the other groups to answer, okay? If they were paying attention, they will know how to answer the questions that you will ask about that, all right? Um, try to answer these topics that we have in here in the question number one, right? Where it says, which products need a faster distribution speed? In this case, ice cream is one of those products, right? Because it melts, because it melts, it needs a faster distribution speed. Also, probably food, because it, it can expire, it can go rotten, it can go rotten. So probably it needs a faster distribution, but not all food, for example, in, in cans, they last. So it depends, right? So try to create a conversation and answer these two points, include them in your conversation. Make sure it's not too short. Please don't give me short conversations during intermediate course <laughs> to create at least intermediate conversation. And make sure, remember, you're going to prepare two questions for your classmates about the conversation that you create, okay? They will answer after you finish your conversation, okay? The rooms are gonna be open for 15 minutes, okay? Um, they are open right now, so you can go in. If you don't finish in the 15 minutes, don't worry, we can have more time, but we will come back first, okay? The rooms are open right now, you have 15 minutes to create the conversation and the two questions about your conversation. Let's go in the rooms, please. Jonathan, Abigail, Mayra, Emerson, Kenya, I need you to go into the room, please. Your classmates are waiting for you. We had internet problems because the lights went off. <laughs> so we are with data right now. So I'm going to open the rooms again. Bear with me, please. I'm just going to close them first. It's going to take one minute. So we're going to wait for everyone to come back and then we're going to open them again so you can go back. <laughs> I'm sorry. There are world problems. <laughs> You're gonna wait 40 seconds, just a moment, okay? Okay, don't worry. I just brought everyone here because I lost the internet because I lost the energy here in the house. 
So everyone, the other rooms, they closed, but I'm going to open all the rooms right now one more time so you can go back in. Okay. You can go into the rooms right now. You will still have 15 minutes, so don't worry, okay? You will have 15 minutes from now to create the conversation and the two questions. Okay? You can go in right now. You can go back to the rooms to work on the conversation. Everybody, please go back to the room. Jose Bernardo, Mayra, your classmate is waiting for you. Abigail, please go into the room. Cesar is waiting for you. Kenya, also, please go into the room. Cesar is waiting for you. To the people that have not connected to the rooms, please write on the chat why you are not connected. I need to know if you are listening, if you're working, if you're traveling. If you're not connected to the rooms, please write me in the chat why you are not connected to the breakout rooms. So you can justify it. Cesar, what happened? I saw you were working in the room with Abigail. Teacher, sorry, but the the uh, Abigail uh, told me that uh, she cannot to uh, participate because where he is uh, right now is it, it is raining hard, and she has to 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 hold uh, her cell phone and her that uh, oh. <laughs> okay that sounds complicated okay i'm gonna move you to room number four because jorge antonio is doesn't have anyone okay. to work with please okay okay thank you teacher thank you, thank you Cesar. Right.
Okay, now we're all back to the session. We're going to begin with the conversation. Okay, this part is very important. To the ones that did not connect to the breakout rooms, everybody who didn't enter into the breakout room, please pay attention to your classmates' conversation because they are going to ask you questions at the end. And it's important that you answer so you have participation. If nobody answers, I'm not going to give you scores for participation, only to the people that went into the breakout rooms, okay? So we're going to begin listening room number three. We have Eduardo Magaña, Juan Carlos Herrera, and Mauricio Velaz. Go ahead with your conversation and then the other groups pay attention because they are going to ask you questions at the end. Okay, I was practicing with Juan Carlos and Mauricio. Okay, go ahead. Okay, in this case, it's just a, a trial run or a trial that is a meeting with my a consultor and a partner. I will be an entrepreneur. Okay. Okay, in this case, um, Juan Carlos, we had a great meeting. And this is, a, I had a, a partner, so I would like to get my, my own business. And I really appreciate it that you can uh, tell me some advices to get my own business. Carlos, Juan Carlos, Mauricio, you're in mute. Okay. Okay. Yes. Uh, you can hear me. Okay. Yes. Now yes. Okay. Uh, I recommend use a delivery application, uh, uh, like a uh, Pedus Ya, for example, or Uber Eats. Um, you are standing right now. Just just standing, and you don't have a, a delivery force. Uh, because it is very expensive. Entonces, I recommend that you use this application. What do you think about it, uh, partner? Mauricio, you are in mute. Uh, what is the budget? Um, would we need to make that? What uh, kind? Okay. What mm -hmm. kind of product, uh, Edward? In this case, I think I would like to get my my own business at home. For the reason, it's a really great option to get a, a a delivery because I don't have time to to make the deliver. But I would like to ask you, uh, Juan Carlos, is I sell whatever uh, product in this app? And yes, you can you can sell the the, the, the your products. Uh, it's easy uh, to do because you only have a uh, register in app and publish your product, and they will charge uh, a five percent for your price of your product. Interesting. Okay. Uh, okay, partner. I would like to know. Uh, okay. A target business? Yes, in my case, I really will, I would like to start the, the business ASAP. So I really appreciate it for your advice, uh, Juan Carlos, and have a great day. Will you be the meeting tomorrow, but talk with the business? Uh, yes, yes, because you only register and you can uh, begin uh, immediately. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Okay. All right, room number three, what are the two questions that you prepare for your classmates? <clears throat> okay, in this case, I would like to know if what, what app uh, the consultor recommend to sell my product. What app did uh, the consultant recommend? Yes. Yes. In another one, in the second one, he, what is the budget? Okay, let's answer the first one. Everybody else that is not Eduardo, Juan Carlos, Mauricio, todas las demás salas, you have to participate. Answer the question. What is the delivery app that Juan Carlos mentioned that Eduardo could use? Uh, 
if nobody answers, it tells me that you were not paying attention to your classmates. So you better start answering people. He mentioned the pedidos ya. Did you mention that one, Juan Carlos? Uh, yes, yes, pedidos ya. En Uber Eats. En Uber Eats, yes. Nice job. <laughs> second <laughs> question, please. Room number three, what is the second question? Eduardo Mori. What is going to be the, is, the budget? The budget. What is, what, the is going, what is going to be the budget? Yes. Okay, what is the budget that Eduardo and Mauricio mentioned? Are you asking for the budget or for the fee? It's a fee. For the it's fee, fee, right? Because I didn't hear a budget. I didn't hear a budget, but I heard a fee. What's the fee that the application charges? They mention a fee that the application charges. Who remember? Who paid attention? Hmm, disappointing. Very disappointing, rest of the class. Eduardo, Juan Carlos, Mauricio, they mentioned it was a 5% charge fee for the application, right? Yes. Yeah. Nice. Over the price, yes. Exactly, right. So, guys, another call for attention. Please pay attention to your classmates, especially the people that didn't connect to the meeting rooms. If you didn't go, that's fine, but you have to participate in the rest of the class because I do not give free scores. I do not give free grades, right? So room number three, you did an excellent job. Your conversation was very, very well done and you delivered with the question. So thank you, Juan Carlos, Eduardo, Mauricio, very nice. We're gonna listen to room number four, okay? So now room number three, you are part of the public. <laughs> We're gonna listen to room number four. And in room number four, we have um, Jorge Antonio and Jose Cesar. Go ahead, guys. Okay, teacher. Go. Hi, Jorge. Uh, you know, uh, I have a new product. I have uh, cocoa milk, uh, call it coconut. Uh, but I have a problem currently because I don't know how to sell it. And how do you think that I can improve this activity? Can you help me? Of course. You can use two ways. If you want to improve, you can use the direct channel and sell the customer in your neighborhood. Or... Mm -hmm. You can use the retailers and distribute the product in the stores. Oh, okay, that's a good idea. Um, but uh, I have never uh, sold product to the people because I'm a shy pe a shy person. Um, for that reason, uh, I'm going to take the second option. Okay, and I'm going to sell my product. Uh, in some stores. Thank you. You have a reason. Certainly you will have a success. Okay. Just that teacher. All right. Nice conversation. Let's hear the questions. Everyone else, be ready, please. Jorge, Cesar, what are okay. the questions? Okay. Uh, the first question is Okay, the first question is, uh, what is the product that I going to want, I want to going to sell? Coconut. 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 No, it's not coconut. It's coconut. related. It's coconut milk. That is the name. Coconut, coconut milk. Coconut milk. Coconut milk. Good. <laughs> 
second question. Okay. The second is, what distribution channel will you use to sell the product? What distribution the channel? Direct, direct, direct channel. Because he mentioned channel. that he is very shy. In the <laughs> yeah, in the stores. What is the, the, op the option? The, the channel. Direct channel. Sell the product in your own. No, own not in his own stores. stores. No, no, in the stores. It's not direct channel because no, it's I'm not it's so not shy. His, uh, it's not his own store. He's going to distribute it in other people's stores. So that is uh -huh. an yeah. okay. Yes. Okay. indirect Reseller channel. Yeah. Will help me to talk on Perfect. <laughs> well delivered. Okay. Jorge Cesar, very good job. I like that you use present perfect. Also, I have never told anything. You incorporated that. And then you also use expressions of certainty. Certainly, you will have success. Very good job. <laughs> And the okay, questions were very you. good too. Thank you. Now we're gonna listen to room number five. And we have who is in here? Carla Sofia, Fatima, Gabriela, and Emerson Ulises. Who participated in room number five? Hi. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hi, Carla. We Hi. need to solve the use because the experience in a few days and we don't lose the product. Could you have any suggestions? Hi, Emerson. Of course, uh, we will create an offer about uh, two for one all week in the store. And how do we promotion this offer? Uh, maybe we promotion this offer on social media and, and other channel, for example, apps in Google. That is a great idea. And we can also take advantage of the opportunity to get closer to our consumers to promote our product. Uh, that sounds good. Then uh, let's do it. Only. <laughs> All right, that's good. Let's hear the question, please. Well, the okay. first question is uh, what products expire? What product is about to expire? Expire. He mentioned it at the beginning. <laughs> what happened? What's going on, people? Where is the tension? <laughs> it's the first thing that he mentioned in the conversation. We have some that is going to expire. It's used. Mm -hmm. Emerson said he had some use, right, Emerson? Yes, yes, of course. All right. And the second question we have, the, what Carla suggests to Emerson for sell the product? Okay, what is Carla's suggestion for Emerson to sell the product? Social media. Yeah. Social the media. Product in social media and that channels. Is that correct, Emerson? It's, it's a correct, yes. Yay. <laughs> Very good. Thank you, Carla Emerson, for the effort. <laughs> okay, I want to congratulate the people who participated in the breakout rooms. I know it was challenging and difficult because of the internet, the weather, the rain, and everything, but you delivered. Right? You delivered, you did what you were to and you did an excellent job with that so very good job to the ones who went to the conversation okay so last but not least we're gonna go back we have a little bit of reading that we're gonna be doing right now and we're gonna talk about the difference okay we're gonna do a reading right now it's about the difference between retail and wholesale right so that's what we're gonna discuss what's the difference between retail and wholesale both are indirect channels. They both are partners, right? 
but they are not the same. They are not the same. They don't work the same. So we're going to check what's the difference between the refill and the whole film. So I'm going to need volunteers to read, okay? Everybody who wants to read, raise your hand. And we're going to start, for example, um, Mauricio, you can start. And then when I say thank you, the next person with the hand up is going to continue. So you have to be reading, right? You have to be paying attention. So everyone who wants to read, participate in reading, raise your hand, please. So I can know, so I can see you. Okay. Let's begin with Mauricio. Mauricio, please. Let's begin with Maybe. this part. What difference between retired of poor less you can make this poster mm -hmm. before you can make a decision between one or the other, you need to understand what is inside in simple terms. I mean that you the product manufacturer or the product the producer sells your product directly to the consumer. Selling also means you typical sells your product in bulk quantity to a nearly man who is in turn sell it to the consumer. Uh, the other retire. Thank you. For vocabulary, entail, implica. Entail. Entails quiere decir implica entail. o conlleva, right? What each entails. Okay. Entail. Let's continue, please. Um, who else wants to read? Let's see. Need more volunteers for reading. Raise your hand, please, if I can see you. We're going to read the next paragraph. Jose Romero, help me reading, please. This section. Okay, teacher, we we'll go all about the retailer business model, right? Yes. Yeah, in general, when selling retail, you sell the product for higher price per unit than who sell it. Since wholesalers sell product in box amounts, they purchase the product at a discount and then use their own formulas to mark up the retailer price. As a retailer price, as a retailer, you have control over the product when it is sold, where it sold for how much it sold. You also have a ability to interact with your cons consumer one on one and receive their feedback in real time because you are face to face with, with consumer and other members of the public, helping people understand the work involved in what you do is a great is a great way to generate world of mouth marketing. Lastly. As a small scale manufacturer of over the counter sales of your goods, you can be quicker at incorporating new designs and feedback into your products. Very well, thank you, Jose. So, what are they talking about in this one? What are they saying in this? What are the benefits or the advantages of the retail business model? Who can tell me in your own words? You don't have to read everything again or repeat it. But in your own words, what do you understand? What are some of the benefits or the advantages from the retail business model? Uh, for me, one of the advantages is that you can buy whatever you want in the amount that you want, that you are looking for. <laughs> You don't need to buy a lot of things that you cannot use it. Mm -hmm. You can buy one or two products and you can put the price. You decide what is the price. You control, right? What other things do you control, for example? Um, 
let me see teacher um maybe you can you can improve your economy because you buy only what you need yeah remember that when you're buying for retail you're not buying to use it you're buying to resell it right but the difference is that when you read when you buy retail Retail es lo que en español conocemos al detalle, venta al detalle o al por menor, right? retail. In that scenario, when you sell retail, you can rate, you can increase the price of your product, right? If you are the only person that sells one product, for example, I am the only person that sells this relaxing ball, the stress ball. I am the only person that yeah. sells this. It's retail yeah. and I only sell one by one. So I can put the price five dollars, ten dollars, fifteen dollars, right? I can I decide what yeah, the maybe, price would be. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This can be um um disadvantage, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, disadvantage yeah. also. <laughs> advantage, yeah. yeah, sorry. It's because you advantage can, or disadvantage, you can huh? play with the prices. Exactly, right? You can decide that you control those things. So in that scenario, it's it's a good option, okay? So thank you so much for reading in this case, okay? Okay, thank we're gonna finish here, guys, with this section. We have more information to read, but we will continue checking it tomorrow because I want you to do comprehension, reading and comprehension, right? We will continue tomorrow. I'm just going to pass attendance one more time. And please be ready to say present or here when I call your names, okay? Um, Carlos Vladimir Rodriguez. Carlos Vladimir Rodriguez. Dairo Jonathan Puente. Eduardo Antonio Magaña. Present. Thank you. Emerson Ulises Monroy. Present. Thank you. Fatima Gabriela Loza. Present. Thank you. Jonathan Jose Gonzalez. Jorge Antonio Sanchez. Present teacher. Thank you. Jose Bernardo Lopez. Present teacher. Thank you. Jose Carlos Argueta. Present teacher. Thank you. Jose Cesar Lemos. Present teacher. Thank you. Juan Carlos Herrera Delgado. Present teacher. Thank you, Juan Jose Herrera Alvarenga. Present. Thank you, Carla Sofía Argueta. Present. Thank you, Kenia Elizabeth Rodríguez. Present. Thank you, Mauricio Antonio Velasquez. Mayra, thank you, Mayra Cecilia Peña. Present. Thank you, Nelly Lilibeth Andrade. Raúl Antonio Jordán. Sandra Abigail Bonilla. Wendy Maricela Ramirez. Okay, um, Eduardo, if you can stay for your assessment para asesoría, just five minutes, okay? Okay, um, guys, before you disconnect, let me ask you, would you like to have a review of other grammar tenses from the basic courses? every class. For example, tomorrow we can have a review of simple present structure, then on Thursday and a review of another sent, uh, simple past, etc. right? Would you like to have reviews on uh, different tenses in the classes? Just to refresh your memory and yes. the structure? For me, yes. uh, I like, I yeah. like it. Okay. For me, I'm going, yes too. Okay, I'm going to prepare one review for one tenth each day so you can refresh your memory on the structure okay in the, on the more in the more common and basic structures all right okay so you can go to sleep recharge batteries i will see you all tomorrow have a good night uh, good night i see you bye, -bye. bye. see you tomorrow okay, guys see you. have a good night bye.